In this video, I'd like to go over the general process and timelines of a traditional non-Hoffa short sale. To date, we've done over 450 short sales since 2005. Each of those short sales has been unique and different. However, in general, you can break down a short sale into three phases. The first of those phases is the marketing and listing period. This could probably take anywhere between 30 to 45 days, and this is on average. It could take a lot longer to get an offer in, it could be a lot quicker, but on average we're seeing 30 to 45 days for phase one. This is the part of the process where you're going to have prospective buyers come through the property. Okay, I think this is the most important part of the process, only because this is the part of the process where we decide on which buyer we're going to work with and which buyer we're going to bring into the bank. Okay, buyers are liars. Buyers have five, six, seven offers out there on different short sales waiting for one to pop. We do not want that buyer. We want a buyer who's willing to commit to us because we're going to commit to them and we're going to bring them into the bank. Now, there's a number of hoops that we have set up as a brokerage to make sure that we're going with the right buyer. Just as an example, a few of those are uh, when we have a buyer put a deposit into escrow. Okay, we want to make sure that they're committed to us and they're not throwing offers around town. We'll also have that buyer uh, pre-approved with our lender, even if they have their own approval already. We make sure that we review their finances and we understand their financial strengths and that they can close on this property. We don't want to waste our time approving a short sale for a buyer who can't purchase or won't purchase it. So once we find our perfect buyer, that's when we can move on into phase two. Phase two is package submittal and negotiation with the bank. Now, this part of the process, you can expect, on average, to take 60 to 70 days. All right? It can be a lot longer. It could be a lot shorter. It depends on the bank. But we're averaging about 60 to 70 days. All right? Now, <clears throat> this is also the part of the process where the bank will get an appraisal on the property. Okay? Now, this is very important. As long as that appraisal comes in within a certain percentage of where the offer is, they will stamp an approval on it. Okay? Once they stamp the approval on it, we have you review it. If everything looks good and we help you with that, you give us the green light, we can move into phase three. Phase three is escrow. Escrow could take anywhere from 30 to 45 days. It depends on if the buyer is getting financing. It depends on what type of financing they're getting. If it's FHA financing, it could take 45 days. If it's a cash offer, it could be a lot quicker. Okay, But during this process, You'll be working with escrow, you'll be working with us, uh, we'll be putting together disclosures for the buyer, we'll be um, having the buyer do their home inspection, the buyer will get their appraisal. It's important to note that even though the buyer does a home inspection, the property is still sold as is, okay? They're just trying to find out what they can about the property up front. Now, if everything goes as planned, we can be able to close the property within 30 days, and that's where you're able to walk away and wipe your hands clean. All right, now, if you add all that up, we're looking at about four to five months from start to finish, A to Z. I want to tie that into the foreclosure process as well. The foreclosure process is usually there through most of our short sales. It's going to continue, and most of our clients go behind. Once you go behind, I want you to understand, it takes anywhere from about, I'd say, 90 to 120 days before the bank will file a notice of default. Once that notice of default is placed on the property, they have to wait 90 days before they can file a notice of trustee sale. Once they file a notice of trustee sale, they have to wait an additional 30 days, this is per California law, before they can foreclose. And they have to document and send you out certified mail when each of these things happen. All right. Now we can oftentimes even get extensions on that trustee sale date. So we're looking at at least seven months once you stop making payments before they can foreclose. Point being, we have plenty of time to get a short sale done that's going to take four to five months. Okay, now I want you to understand before I go that it really depends on the bank and your situation. Give me a call. I can go through specifically how long your lender will take and how long your short sale should take. We can never make any guarantees, obviously, but we've done enough of these where I can bring you through very accurately. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching.